Ay, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Just yeah. be truthful with yourself, you know you ain't messing with form. Hey, making every quarterback look like they got a arm. Ah. And the defense got it covered like State Farm. Hey, thought he had the power, no. no. Beat him by a 50 piece. Yeah. Use a skill, watch a beat. That's another Peaky D. Yeah. Doing everybody bad. bad. Boy, you getting victimized. And know them ain't no juke moves. Nah. You just getting stick alive. The game ain't even started yet, but you already shook. Got a shot. Mad library in now, watch him throw a book. Wow. Cap it like new era, boy, you tripping. What he thought he on? Dog. Big dog status, you a pup. Sorry, doggy bone. Hey, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Yeah. Yeah. Be truthful yeah. with yourself, you know you ain't messing Stupid with form. Hey, making every quarterback look like they got an arm. How? And the defense got it covered like stay bomb. Hey, hey, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. What's happening, Doggy Bone, man? We finally here, bro. Trust me, bro. This is the gameplay I've been telling y'all. I've been waiting to upload all week. This is a special gameplay because it's a special day. You feel me? Unk B-Day. Fuck, nigga. You feel me? It's today my B-Day. You feel me? So I wanted to upload this banger. Make sure y'all smash the like button because this... Oh, to me, y'all comment down below what y'all favorite gameplay of mine is this year. To me, this is my favorite game of gameplay of all Madden 23. This shit is a banger, I guarantee you, bro. So sit back, chillax, smash the like. You know what I'm saying? Let's get into this 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 B day banger, fuck nigga. You feel me? Uh, was playing Shire Boy. Look him up on YouTube. He said he was starting up his YouTube channel. And uh, I told him to start streaming. The same thing I tell all y'all. As y'all can see, he's in strong clothes. But his strong clothes, different, different. But the same thing I tell all you guys, bro. If you're going to do YouTube, don't wait to Madden 24. Start streaming while the game is dead so you can build your audience going into 24. You know what I'm saying? So, but look, a little bit, like, I'm 36, bro. A little bit of, like, a little bit of vulnerability. You know what I'm saying? I'll be real with y'all. I didn't think I was going to make it past 30. To be real with you, I didn't. You know what I'm saying? Like, my, my pop's gone. All of my brothers gone. You know what I'm saying? Every one of my pop's sons gone. So, I didn't know if it was, like, we were just cursed for real, like, so, you know what I'm saying? Once I start, you know what I'm saying, therapy and all that, I got a very good understanding of, of certain things. And so, you know what I'm saying? I kind of got rid of that that mindset of like fixating so much on death. And, but, you know what I'm saying? And we got past that. His dog got that long range dead eye and dotted my ass. So, my people's making me celebrate my birthday this year. I don't really care about birthdays, but they making me, so I'm going along with it. You know what I'm saying? I think it's just for me, you know what I'm saying, with the therapy and everything, it'll be good for me to, you know what I'm saying, celebrate life. And matter of fact, fuck nigga, there it go, man. Hit the cash app. Bless me. I done blessed it y'all all year. Tax refund on the YouTube type shit. Bless me like I done blessed it y'all. Uh, just all the niggas who I done loan money to. All my day ones that I told y'all, don't worry about paying that back. Don't worry about it. Just hit me off with a love. You see me? Uh, yeah, kick back, um, for real. Blessings on blessings, man. To whoever look out and, and, and bless me on my B-Day. You feel me? So, uh, but yeah, fluff all that. Let's get into the gameplay. So, look, playing dog, he, he, he marches down with the title, I mean, with the strong clothes. And he does, he motions out the running back. And it's like the, it's, it's like a crazy little flat route that does a great job of glitching out coverage. Does a fan tab below so job of, of glitching out coverage. So I'm like, okay, I need to watch that. And then we get on defense, dog three four. I said, ooh, what nigga, what you running this for? I'm like, okay, so the one issue. I'm like, okay, so 3-4 is going to be a negator of my uh, QB draw. I'm like, I'm not going to be able to run a ton of QB draw because um, essentially, nigga, you got, especially with the D-line, you got seven D-linemen in the damn box for real. So I'm like, okay, QB draw is going to be a no-go. My best bet, you know what I'm saying, is just continuously air this rock out. 
these sets, the three, four eye sets present a different type of challenge. Cause you, I mean, even though I, I'm not someone who like really needs to run QB draw for my offense to be successful, it's an added layer that makes the O so much better. So now with him, what the hell happened to my voice? So now with his uh, defense uh, being three, four, these type of things is going to be tougher to do. When I motion Megatron in to get blocking because I want to uh, run a certain setup, now I do not have the time for that deeper post to develop in case he starts flattening and getting like really creative with his adjustments. Because this is a D lineman, he going to destroy him every time with edge threat. You know what I'm saying? It's different when I'm going against the six ones and they got the line, the cut, uh, back. I mean, yeah, linebackers and even uh, secondary guys. Megatron can hold his own for a second, but he's never going to hold up against a lineman. Even a line, a D lineman with no abilities is going to flood him coming off that edge. So I need to figure out uh, more creative ways, make sure I'm a lot more thorough with my reads as we go ahead and hit the corner route there. Um, I'm looking at his linebackers, figuring out who got what. The only person I didn't check, and I low-key forgot this, was Patrick Willis. I had Patrick Willis, but I forgot what abilities he got, and it comes back to bite me as we go ahead and boom, hit that wide curl on the outside route, pick up good yards. As the game goes, you'll see both of us get a little bit more comfortable defensively. You know what I'm saying? Getting the understanding of what, what, what a mo which motions mean what, uh, which setups mean what for which route combo. Like, you'll see the both of us get way better at analyzing that. And defensively, the game will start to settle down. And it, it like, this is, like, this game was so much fun. And mainly it's because you're going to play a lot of Titan Dollar. And some of my better game plays like that you guys have really enjoyed are usually against the meta. So very rarely as we miss RB right there, very rarely do I get a chance to have like these fun, real hell game type of games against some off meta. You know what I'm saying? Everything about what the, of course, 3 4 I isn't like a unique defense. It is now because people don't really run it in much, but... You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a known defense. But for somebody to, you know what I'm saying, be out here running it efficiently and then on offense be taking the same risk with a under with a uh, off-meta offense, man, that shit fun. So fourth 10 right here, we go ahead, hit him on the wheel route. We end up scoring. The, only, the one thing about the defense right here is like I already know uh, these two are my reads because I'm pretty sure my user is going to hold – whoever he's using in the middle because he's sending them, right? So if you're sending them, more than likely, uh, deep zone here, some type of cloud flat over there. And then you're going to hold the middle here. So I already know that. So once he does not blitz, I mean, once he drop zones him, I'm like, he didn't do shit but just uh, zone him. I'm guessing uh, hook curl, hook curl mid read. And I'm like, all right, if he went mid-read, I'll be good because this post will get underneath a mid-read. You know what I'm saying? So now these two still are viable options as my one-two reads. So, uh, yeah, he still holds in the middle. And then we, uh, with his user for a second, we able to hit that wheel route right behind him. If the wheel, if he had jumped quickly to the wheel route, I just would have highballed that crosser to Bavaro. And we would, and you know what I'm saying, I'd have been good money. I'll take that 50-50 ball against his linebackers. Because I low-key forgot, but Pat Willie is the only one who gets pick artists. Right here, you see, when he like when he motions him out, you know what I'm saying, that's when dog ass get musty and dangerous. So I'm, I need to start making my adjustments. And you'll see, like I told you, as the game go, we 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 make our adjustments, bro. We do a we do a good job of making our adjustments. Uh in this game just so we can be clear don't 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 hit me up asking me for no money bro you know what i'm saying i do I, that that should have been a pick though like notice when he throws the ball because i hook curl there because um i'm like look if he gonna throw this flat i wanted to see how consistently he was gonna throw it see what he was gonna react but i also knew if he's flattened 
then he's pulling zone that way. He can get me wheel route, seam streaks. So I'm going to just vert hook right here to see what his route combo is going to be, etc. While still sending pressure and kind of speeding him up. And he ends up throwing right where I got my uh, zone at. And when he throws it, he's there. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's a pick. But you will notice as he throwing the ball, he starts dropping back here. You know what I'm saying? He dropped back, never played it, which was crazy. But like I said, don't don't hit me up asking for me for no money. For real on bro. Like my the day one subs who've been around for a very long time, Madden 20, Madden early 21 days. Yeah, sometimes they might hit Unc up. Yo, man, you got like 20, 40, 50 dog. Just just you know what I'm saying? So I could just it's, it's been a rough week. Oh nigga, say less. If I got it, yeah, say less, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna say the the the, the people or it, it be being little gambling ass. Dude, you get ten dollars. I just want to do a parlay. Like Ben, go get some help, man. For real, go see somebody, boy. That's a sickness. Oh, uh, he be scratching and shit. Oh, uh, I just need to do my parlays, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nasty, man. Nasty work. T. Oh, I haven't eaten in sixteen days. I'm like, how you alive, my boy? You ain't eating a hot sixteen. But yeah, so right here, uh, he motions over. So whenever he get that motion over, it's a big play route. I thought I would get the pick right there with Ted, but we didn't. But yeah, when he motions over anybody outside of the running back, it's usually a big play. Deep post, deep corner route, deep post route, one play TD type shit. So you'll see I'm starting to key in on buyers as his primary. But if I can man up buyers with uh, peppers here, when he motions out, it's a no-go because he's never going to make it out that far. And as you can see, he just hits me with that little fade route. It's kind of like the verticals route, the wheel route out verticals. You motion it out. And because it's a flat, when it gets to the sideline, it turns into a wheel. Like he's going to run to the sideline, but eventually he's going to route bounce straight up the field. So uh, right here, I can motion him. Once he motions out... I need to do something different, like start flattening corners, etc. Right here, he motions across the field. We actually play pretty decent defense and uh, end up bagging that up. Had an opportunity maybe to throw uh, on that backside of the end zone, but he was already on the run when they got open, so it was going to be a lot tougher of a throw. As you can see, now we're flat zoning. Flat zoning that side, cross manning it just in case. It is a post route or it's a streak route. You know what I'm saying? He'll meet him at the back of the end zone. All we have to do is just play on the hash and then kind of float somewhere else. Just give him enough time to get back. But I only want to do that in the red zone. I don't want to do that going up the field as right there. You see why we forget to put the flat there. We actually put the third there. Peppers can't get there, and we end up giving up an easy touchdown. You know what I'm saying? But it was cool because, you know what I'm saying, he's not marching up and down the field in three, four, five plays. He's these 9, 10, 11 play drives, so I'm getting to see everything. So we retaining all that info. Right here is something that I, you don't really see me do a lot. I'm expecting pressure, right? I'm seam streaking flash because he don't have a deep end knockout. He has all deep out zone knockouts. So as if I can get a stop, a step on him with flash, and then as long as I can catch that ball inside the hash, I won't get knocked out. Which is why I swerved from the outside to the inside to make sure I stayed on the hash and I wouldn't have to worry about that being knocked out. If I got a fluke knockout, fine but it, it wouldn't trigger any animations unless it was a universal coverage which he didn't have so we end up running qb draw scoring seven right before the half uh in 14 14 we get ball at half huge flip of the game for us right there to be able to get that touchdown right here this is just i'm just i'm, I'm like yo i'm gonna just send the pressure at dog you know what i'm saying uh his offense was so good it made me a little bit nervous about actually sending pressure. So out the rip, I kind of shied away from it. Uh, right here, he tries to he uh, throw that. Our deep zone KO knocks that out. I'm like, good. He wasted about five, six seconds on that. So now I can just kind of speed him up, 
send a lot of pressure. He's motioning across. And notice when he motions across, bro, now he has a stack, which means he's now unbumpable. He's going to always get a free release off the line, so I need to be mindful of that also. So I man him up, and then this is that little fade route they love out of tight. And he was trying to wait for that to get open, but that's partially why we send pressure. <clears throat> so I need to be cognizant of that also. <clears throat> Dang, bro. I need to be cognizant of that also when I'm uh, playing dog, where he motions, when he motions. Is he motioning short side? Uh, whatever he's doing right here, he motions again. But at this point, this is just a prayer. So I'm just going to drop back everybody because I'm expecting the post now. Last time, it was the fade with the corner, et cetera. I was expecting that post that time. We get the sack. I call a timeout. Throw it one more time, my nigga, and, and let me get a safety. You know what I'm saying? Smart man end up running the ball, uh, and now we go to the half. I get ball, <clears throat> and this is where you could, I make a, a, a pottery blade mistake. You know what I'm saying? Right here, QB draw, waste of a down. Because essentially, this boy got seven goddamn D linemen in that box. You know what I'm saying? So they like they flooding to the run fits, and I can't I can't find a hole for real. So right here again, we gonna block, um, and then we gonna try to find a dot. But I I like I I didn't like the setup though. You know what I'm saying? And then boom, I high ball. Actually, I don't remember if I high ball or not. But I threw at Pat Willis because I forgot he has pick artists. Like, if he just would have had Lurker, I wouldn't have been tripping. But Lurker with the pick artisty, that shit go crazy. So that's the first mistake that's made in this game. But I'm at a point where I'm a bit more comfortable with what he likes to do. So as you can see, I manned up and I, 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 manned, I uh, double teamed him and I didn't mean to. But we end up getting a sack. That second man up was for the tight end, Carmichael. So when he mans up, I'm a flat, and I might man over top, or I just might double man these slot guys. But if I double man both these individuals here, then I need to be sending pressure. Like right here, he motion snaps it. Before I can get anything done, he motion snaps the shit. I'm like, oh, God. Right there, um, ah, 50-50. Like, I wish Ted would have played it better, but I wasn't too mad. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, he can't motion snap that shit. We just got to be a little bit quicker with the adjustments. If I am going, uh, right here, we go complete coverage. And this one, I was like, God damn, dog really not. He liked that for real. We play everything nicely, and he hits, the, uh, hits a hitch. Ain't hitch me all game. But notice that was the one gap in the defense I was I was uh, leaving. So I'm like, if I play him coverage, he's going to kill me, bro. Like, I need to speed this dude up and kind of force him to make uncomfortable throws and quick decisions. Because that's the like, for me, that's one of the weaknesses of this defense. Is, is I mean, not uh, defense, but under center is you can be fooled in it like when you throwing them quick throws you can be baited you know what i'm saying the unexpected flat hook somewhere where you wasn't expecting it you know what i'm saying so i'm like that's a fluff that we gonna we gonna die on that hill we gonna die on the blitz hill as we strip fumble dog ass because that should have been a pick but you already know how on get if you get into a tackle battle i'm spamming rb so right here, this is uh, on one of them hills. We end up sending pressure. The pressure uh, he sees immediately coming off the right. So he's thinking he's running uphill, but he's not. I'm replacing here. I know I'm going to have coverage here. So I'm replacing here and playing this deep zone. So he, tr he quick throws thinking he was going to go upfield. He drops down, but he just doesn't act like he don't animate. He just stays there. So once he gets into the tackle battle here, notice I click off immediately and I'm finna get the punch and shit, shorty. Let me get that. Let me get that. We don't take it to the crib, but uh, that was huge because now I don't have to play the back and forth with him. He had to play 
the back and forth game with me now because I got the turnover right back. So now I can score, stay ahead, and he just has to keep, you know what I'm saying, trailing, trying to, you know what I'm saying, catch up and create another turnover because I'm going to keep it a buck. That was just a dumb decision on my end. He, I'm like, yo, he, he's not going to get another dumb decision like that because it's 3 4 I. There's no reason for me to be getting baited <laughs> like that in 3 4 I. You know what I'm saying? If I'm going to pick up the blitz, I'm going to have more than enough time. If I can't find somebody, toss the ball away. You know what I'm saying? Pretty simple. Right here, I could have hit X, and then we just end up running out of bounds with it. Picked up down there the same amount of yards. Uh, right here, he's sending pressure. So, I'm going to go verticals right here. And I want to see what he's doing deep zone-wise because I feel, like, I feel like on that wheel route, I could catch him slipping, which we actually do, and we just hit him up top. Uh, that's uh, Nitschke. Can't keep up with Flash. And even if he keep up with him, I'm going to throw that high ball every time and I'm going to dunk on his ass. Because Nisky don't get pick artists, I don't think, for free. So if he's not getting it for free, you're probably not going to put it on him. So right there, we find the dot. End up going up 21-14. And now it's just about just getting that one more stop. That's all Madden is, is a one more game. Again, like I told y'all, I'm going to die on that hill with sending pressure. If he beats me... Uh, with me sending pressure, uh, kind of adjusting on the outside, and kind of right there should have been another pick. Uh, taking away those quick throws, I'll die on that hill with that. You know what I'm saying? But if I just try to continuously just go straight coverage with this dude, he going to pick me apart. So uh, that's just what we on right here runs the ball. I kind of thought I should have hit him in the backfield, but we just we, we sh we, we got through the gaps. But we just kind of wrapped around, dog. So right here again, same, same, same concept, same pressure. If he motions across and gives me the stack look, I'm going to just go ahead and man up. And the reason I man up that slot guy that time, because that is his deep post guy as he hits me on the opposite side wheel route. That's his deep post guy. So I want to take him that, like this guy, when he motions across and gives me that look, he is the fade guy. He's the deep post guy also. So right here, audibles to, I want to say that was I form close. I'm not worried about that shit at all. We go ahead and scream at that. And then we get him into like a situation where it's like, okay, cool. I'm going to send pressure off the right. He's going, I'm going to man him up, but I don't because he quick hikes the shit out of me with it. But my, my goal is to man him up. And then we get in the red zone, flat man him up over top. You know what I'm saying? Man up the other slot guy. Like, we got to make a, a, t a shit ton of adjustments. Right here, I'm expecting a wheel route because I was I actually expecting for him to motion out there. So, right here, we just go hard flat for here. And then I uh I deep half here. Vert hook here, shaded underneath for the wheel route. And then we're going to send pressure off the other side. End up playing good defense, getting home. If he would have threw that post, it would have gotten picked. Because if you uh, look, he's floating back as that post comes because he's going to match that. So, good defense right there. Get him to a 4th and 10. Right here, I'm hook curling for a post route. And we play perfect defense. And they gave him that first down, bro. Look at look at it. So, the, the this, hook, this hook curl is for the post route coming across the middle. He going to drop on a post that comes opposite side. This is my area right here, and we send in the goons, right? So, uh, manned him up. We got, uh, we playing over top here. Uh, hook curl here. If he wants to take this, he can, and we'll try to make a tackle. Look, look where he catches that ball at, y'all. Clearly not a first down. Watch where I come and hit him at. Clearly not a first down, right? Look where he goes down at. How is that a first, EA? How is that a first down? He clearly did not cross that line. That line. So I was tight, bro, because I'm like, some shit like that happened. Those is when you like, yo, he probably going to score this drive, bro. Then right here, we end up playing good defense. Like, like defensive-wise, I was happy, bro. Like, we were, we were finding adjustments that was working. 
We was doing our shit right there. They called me for illegal contact, bro. Illegal contact, dog. We were stuck together. You know what I'm saying? In a in on um, some abusive relationship type shit. We were stuck together. So right here, he hits the uh, corner route. I'm like, God, Lee, now I got to start playing for a corner route. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to have to start seam, uh, seam flatten. And then if he motions across here, I can outside quarter right here. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I don't want to do all that shit right here. He runs the ball. He's trying to, like, kind of kill some clock. Because if I'm him, I'm going to score a touchdown and I'm going to try to go for two. That's what I'm going to try to do if I'm dog. So that's just kind of what the expectation is. That's, you know what I'm saying, chewing clock. And I'm, I'm cool with that, too, because that just means I need to just get one stop. Don't allow him to get two yards one time. Right here, we go to that same adjustment with the same hook curl, and he gets hit with a delay of game. So I'm like, all right, that's probably going to – I'm going to send pressure right here uh, off both edges. We're going to go with the same look. I'm just not going to hook curl. And we scream. And I thought Ted would pick that off, bro. Oh, I thought Ted was about to snag that, man. Getting to a third 10, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm sitting up in the seat type shit for this. I'm sitting up in the seat type shit for this, bro. Motions across. I'm like, all right, bet. Uh, we, I, th I want to say we seen, yeah, we seen flatter and outside uh, third, but we didn't quarter and we get home on a pressure. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm going to die on the heel of pressure this game. If he beat me with pressure, he beat me with pressure. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not finna just drop back coverage. You can see we man uh, the stack side up this time. And he hits me with an out. And Randy Moss, man, hit dog dead in the shit, boy. Y'all always say, oh, if you just got to tackle, no, nigga. Because when I'm a hit stick whore and it pay off sometimes, bro. Did I deserve that? Hell yeah. He didn't get that first down on that, bro. That's just EA realizing like, nah, we OD right there with the DDA. Let's just let's just make it balanced again. You know what I'm saying? Right here, throw the out I mean corner route. Uh he he manned that up because I think that's golden ticket peppers. He gets free. Pick artist in deep zone KO, deep route KO. So he had to man him up right there, which was good defense. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all I need is a first down. One first down and we good money. I, I can't go to the other setup because uh, Megatron to get cooked. But then, boom, I see that. I There's no way I don't throw that. There's no way I don't throw a high ball and Megatron got a step, two steps, on Pat Willis. I'm going to high ball that. If Pat Willis knocked that ball in the air and they get picked, cool. But I was I had all confidence that I was that was me right there. You know what I'm saying? That's probably the only downfall of 3-4 eye as we break another run and uh kind of put the game out of reach. You know what I'm saying? Cause he 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 either have to hurt burn the time out here. You know what I'm saying? You can't let me kill the clock or his game. So he kind of realized that, you know what I'm saying, it was GG's with that first down. And uh, we ended up picking up the win, bro. But dog, dog was nice, man. Make sure y'all go y'all go sub the dog on the Utah, man. He was he was a hell of a player, bro, for real. So, yeah, man. Ended up picking up the win and probably my favorite game of all of Madden 23, bro. So, man, I know y'all are going to enjoy this one, bro. Appreciate y'all for rocking. Hope you all enjoyed this gameplay, and I'll get at y'all tomorrow, man. Peace.